CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 5.3 Summarize methods used to interface with databases. Database permissions. In a relational database, permissions are the rules you establish for who can access and manipulate your structured data tables. By using SQL commands, you can grant certain users the ability to perform specific actions, such as reading or editing data in particular tables. Conversely, Mr. Deny here can restrict your access or actions, ensuring that only authorized individuals can interact with and modify the database's organized information. To control who can or cannot work with our data, SQL gives us two commands. Grant and deny. Grant allows access while deny takes it away. And it is also worth noting that CompTIA has classified these under the Data Definition Language or DDL category. First up, let's talk about granting permissions. When you want to give someone access to specific data in the database, you're essentially giving them a key to the vault. To do this, we use the grant command. For example, if you want user A to only be able to view customer data, you would use the grant command like the example on the left. This command would grant permission for user A to use the select command on the customer's table. Now let's talk about denying permissions. When you want to restrict access to specific data in the database, you use the deny command. For example, if you want user A to be restricted from using the delete command for customer data, you would use the deny command like the example on the right. This command would deny permission for user A to use the delete command on the customer's table. In IT, security is paramount, and understanding how to control who has access to your data is crucial. Good thing databases provide us with a secure way to store information. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.